Son. At 17, I wanted everything that was in store. At 23, I bought it all just to make sure. Yo, what's up people? I hope you guys are doing great. I hope you guys are making gains. Back at you with another short video today. And so in today's video, we're going to be talking about the topic of foam rolling. This is something I started doing recently because I saw a few YouTubers online uh, talking about foam rolling and I did a bit of research into it and some of the benefits and what people thought about it. So I thought, you know what, let me give this a go and see how it works. And I feel it's been helping me. So today I'm going to talk to you guys what foam rolling is exactly and why I think you should implement it into your sort of a workout regime. A well, foam rolling is essentially sort of like a self massage which is usually used to soothe you know sore areas usually known or referred to as trigger points so areas say for example if you did a heavy leg session you know the next day you're gonna you're gonna start feeling that you know the effects of the leg session usually referred to as thumbs so by foam rolling it's, it's believed that it can help to you know soothe that you know stretch it out make that muscle feel feel a bit less sore and tight the real reason is why foam rolling works or what causes it to you know add to that the muscle feeling less sore you know that feeling that good feeling isn't really known for certain there's different reasons some people don't actually believe it's a direct impact of foam rolling some people actually believe it's just your body's way of reacting or sending neurological responses from you know neurological receptors which sort of increase your blood flow and then your increased blood flow then releases uh you know reduces the stress hormones and then when you have a reduction in stress hormones you feel less so the muscles more stretched out but however no one really certainly knows what really causes it but we all know it does feel good and it definitely works just to name a few other benefits which you could you know gain from start doing from starting foam rolling is increased flexibility like I've noticed like I can stretch out my legs I can't do the splits of course but I can stretch out my legs way more you know I can go lower I can get into positions which I felt a little bit more a little bit uncomfortable but I can do that a bit more comfortable now and it's important to note that there's actually a proper way of doing foam rolling like I'm only starting to learn how to do it I've heard online from like um, channels like Jeff Cavalier saying you're not actually meant to foam roll your lower back which I actually did at the start but then I realized so I sort of stopped doing that but like there's actually a proper way to do foam rolling and if you do it properly you know you're going to increase your flexibility it's also believed that foam rolling can actually help to remove lactic acid especially when you do it before a workout usually people will do foam rolling after workout but if you actually do it before a workout so include it in your dynamic stretching i always believe in doing dynamic stretching i'm not really a great fan of static stretching unless you're going to mix it in so dynamic stretching if you don't know basically when you know you mimic sort of the movement you're not just standing still and stretching but you're actually mimicking perhaps the movement you're going to perform and you know stretching out the muscle that way so it's believed that if you actually add foam rolling in with your stretching it can actually reduce the lactic acid this is a really short video and why i think you should start foam rolling and just a few benefits i'm sure there's loads more benefits out there if you guys know any other benefits or have seen any other best other benefits firsthand then write them in the comment section like always guys please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and i'll catch you guys in a bit peace